Hi ladies! So as you can see, that big bag over there has all of my medications that Jarrett and I had picked up yesterday. I know I posted the video a day late and I'm sorry. Um, after our class, I came home, started cooking dinner, and I completely forgot to upload the video. So that's why you're seeing my video I did yesterday up today. So <clears throat> Our medication class went really good with our IVF coordinator. She is amazing. She's such a sweetheart. And we went over the first series of medications that I have to take in the beginning. That's the ones that will, um, what we use for stemming. Basically, that's making my follicles grow. So she gave me, like, guides and things on the two big medications that are in this bag. And then one of the medications is in my refrigerator, which is the Follistem that has to be refrigerated. And I'll quickly show you what is in the large, large <laughs> medicine bag. So big. I can't even believe it. When we went to go pick it up, it was like, that's all for me? Like, crazy. Okay, so... The first things first, she gave us this guide, and you can go online and watch videos um, about how to do the Metapure injections and things, but this is like a quick little guide that we can keep right next to the medications to show us how to pre-mix everything and then how to give the injection. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, ouch. So, yeah, that's that guide, and this is for the Ganarillix uh, prescription here. And it's another little guide on how to inject. And they show you where to take this injection in three parts of the body. And I'm going to do it in the thigh, upper thigh. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is my folatism little case for the pin. And there are the needles right here. And here is the awesome looking pin here. And she went over us how to use it. And right here, it's a dial that you set the milligrams, or not the milligrams, units of medicine in here. So she went over that, and that was um, pretty interesting. And, you know, I think, I think we got the hang of it. So um, here are all the needles. Needles, needles galore, all different sizes. The one that I'm just most frightened about is the one for the progesterone. This puppy right here, this one is the big daddy needle. This is the scary one right here. It's pretty thick and uh, my nurse told me this is no joke. This is going to hurt. And um, yeah, good times, right? But whatever I got to do to get this baby on board, I'm all in for it. So. I'm just excited to have the medicine here. It's just one more step to start. We start all the medications, uh, not all the medications, but we start medicating um, September 5th. So I have uh, Menopure in here, which I have loads of that. I'm talking about loads of Menopure in here. So we've got one box, two boxes. Oops. Three boxes, four boxes, and this was the sample that my RN got me from the actual manufacturer. So this is the one that um, my RN got me, and she got me this one here from the drug wrap. So those two were my two free items. Then I have the Gonorillic X. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. So there's quite a few of those and these. And the Follistem, like I said, is in the fridge. Then we have the Progesterone here. Right there. We have the HCG medication right there. You guys can see right there. Let me back up a little bit. 
There you go. You can kind of see it a little bit better. Sorry, it's kind of hard to prop you up when you're um, using your tablet. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Okay, so then we have our BB Sharp container, and that is for all of the disposal of needles. Lovely. And uh, we have to go to the pharmacy and pick up um, the alcohol wipes. These three here are more medications, obviously. Uh, this one here is for this a volume on this bottle here. I'm, I'm covering my address. So that's before I have my egg retrieval to take a volume to take the edge off. Uh, this one here is prednisone in this bottle. And this one here is an antibiotic to take after I do the egg retrieval so they don't get any infections. So ladies, that is all the medications here. Like I said, we have the follicism in the fridge and um, I'm just really super excited about just starting. Um, like I said, August has been taking forever to get here and I'm so glad that it's almost over and we can begin this new journey. And I'm just very thrilled that my IVF coordinator was being just, I mean, she went via them. Above, or, I'm sorry, above and beyond um, her job. I mean, she has helped me every step of the way, and I've gotten in contact with uh, two drug administrations to get these medications at half the cost, and that was like pulling teeth trying to get that done. I mean, I had to write letters to them, uh, whatever I had to do to try to get these discounted because they are extremely expensive. Um, no joke, guys. This Metapure and this... Uh, Gonna relax here. <laughs> I, I just, it, it just makes me want to cry how much this medication costs. And just to know that a lot of people cannot afford this, it makes me really upset because I know there are a lot of people that would love to do IVF and they just simply cannot afford it. And it makes me infuriated that insurance companies do not pay for any of this. They don't pay for your appointments, they don't pay, pay for treatments for IVF. And it's just, it just really makes me upset, and those laws need to be changed. Um, somehow, some way, um, just things just have to change for people who have infertility and what they cover and not cover. It just, it just so upsets me. But I am just, Jarrett and I are just really eager and excited to get things started. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to go out and get my goodie basket of IVF things, my essentials. I have been doing a lot of uh, watching YouTube videos of other subs that have gone through IVF and what they thought the most helpful things in their little goodie basket was. And so I've taken things from each of those subscribers and I'm going to go out and purchase those things like fiber, coconut water, uh, socks to wear, you know, day of egg retrieval, um, just little things like that, protein bars, you know, just little things that are going to really help the IVF process go smoother. Um, I do have a new drinking bottle for water and all that stuff. So like I said, we're just really eager to get started. And this is just the first step to our dream coming true. And I'm just so thrilled. I'm just so thrilled. I'm just so excited that that we're actually to this point, and um, let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. So, yeah, September 5th, guys, is when we start the stemming, and I will update you on how the first injection goes. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, it just always looks more scarier than what it is. <laughs> so... Yeah, it'll be all right. I'll put the rest of this away later. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate all your comments and your prayers. And I hope you guys have a great and safe holiday weekend. And we'll be talking to you real soon. Bye, guys.